not just to sing or perform, but to leave an impartation of an anointing, which is going to reach out to the young people and stir them up to ministry as well and impart something to them to reach Asia. So these children are introduced into the Holy Spirit at an age as young as probably two or three years old. They are in those meetings where prayer is taking place. God always is ahead of the devil. And that's why God is pouring out his spirit upon young people. And Jesus promised it that our sons and daughters shall prophesy. The young men shall see visions. So we know that automatically there must be an outpouring among young people. In the same way that there was a massive attack among young people. Our education system is much similar because from the British times. You do more with the Holy Spirit because the emphasis is the Holy Spirit coming into the life of a Christian. 6 a.m. before they go to school, they pray, they study the Bible, they go to school, at break time they're, st uh, they're studying the Word of God, at lunch time they have fellowship, prayer fellowship, uh, and then in the evening, every evening in their schools they have fellowship. Uh, this is school time in Africa. When the Holy Spirit comes into the equation, he's going to deal with half that pressure so the child can concentrate on studies and they're going to get much better grades. So I would advise the parents, don't take your children away from the Holy Spirit. Bring your children where the Holy Spirit is. Your children are better involving having the Holy Spirit at the center of their lives rather than having activity and video games and sports and fun at the center of their lives. Facebook